Vision. What is up YouTube? It's your boy Monster back again with a new video. And this is the truck I'm rocking right now. It's a GMC Cyclone with 450 horsepower. And this is a as you guys can hear, it does sound real nice. I like how it sounds. But um, let's start heading to the showcase so you guys can see what we are going to be building. So now that we're here in the showcase, we are going to be making a build on an Asian car. So let's go to view all and let's go straight to Nissan since we are making a, uh, what's it called? Asian build and, and it's, and it's a FD build. So you guys might know him and let's go with the Nissan 370Z. Um, we are going to be building uh, Chris Forsberg uh, 370Z from FD. So let's go with colors and get the red since red is the most typical color you can get for 370s and 350Zs. So now let's go into upgrades and we are going straight to the engine conversions since he has a v8 in it with a thousand horsepower so we're getting the v8 uh we're turboing it twin turbos so we can get um the horsepower faster and he has uh three uh nismo body kit i just don't know which one i should go with with this one or that one but honestly i'm gonna go with this one since that's the one he has he has the little curve in the front and then with the wing i'm going with this one i think i read that he got all the body kit uh nismo the whole Nismo body kit. But I don't know which one I like from these two. I think I might go with that. Let's see the side of you. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. And then side skirts. We do have to install the side skirt since it's a whole body body kit. And I'm going with the first one right there. Now with the wheels, we are going with race tire compound. 275s in the front and 295s in the rear. This is a tricky beat. And I think I'm going with the Moteg Racing SP10 since those look like uh, his rims. Yeah, we're sticking with 19s. And we have to upgrade everything since it is an FD car. And they have like everything maxed out. This is a Chucky Beat production. <laughs> race brakes. And race springs. We have to add the roll cage and weight reduction for sure since we do want that speed right now we have 452 horsepower and i'm gonna add the essentials first for an engine and see how much horsepower we get without upgrading the whole thing we 
and we might have to install the whole thing like we did with Chelsea Denofa's uh, Mustang we have to add a fuel cell since they do use fuel cells let's see 960 horsepower a thousand horsepower right there uh, might as well just add this the valves uh, now let's install that 85,000 credits pretty cheap so now let's tune it and in the rear we're going with 25 psi uh, alignment we do want some negative camber in the front since we do want to get as much angle and just a little bit of camber in the rear springs you guys know we have to slam that car since they look nicer uh, slammed so now that we're done I'll see you guys outside now uh, now that we're outside uh, this is what the car looks like I'll post a picture here and as you guys can see it, it really does look like it um, only if we can get 18 rims in the re in the front and rear but so far it, I really like how it looks and you can hear the American Eagle of America the the V8 just sounds real nice I really like how it's uh, like that sounds but today we're not gonna be drifting as much in the parking lot uh, I've been drifting there for a lot and now we're gonna be drifting in the streets but I need a little bit of more traction or we'll just work with what we got to see if we can like how good we can handle it in third gear since it is in third gear right now right here nice little manji but I messed up since it oversteered now let's go over here to uh, the what's it called the drift zone and see how good we do so far I'm liking how it looks hopefully we can handle it all the way God damn it. We were doing so good until so you guys know. 63,000 credits. That's pretty good. So we're just winning around in, in the streets of Forza. We're not going to be going to the parking lot since we've been there too much. Uh, imagine just going there every single day in real life. Getting it all burned out. Damn it, freaking Lambo. Or whatever you are. But I'm changing gears real quick. Because I don't want to be like just lighting everywhere let's see if I can do a donut all around the roundabout it is gonna be hard that's what I'm telling you guys But right now it looks it's looking good and I think we drifted around the whole thing 
and, and first try. We are now here in the airport and we're gonna see how good we do uh, going down straight while it's raining. Hopefully we can. Uh, you know what, let me, let me tune it a little bit. Okay, now that we're back, um, I lowered the PSI in the rear. So let's get the car ready to launch it and I'll start the timer here. I'm gonna just fly through these gears since I don't wanna be sliding all over the place. As you guys can see, it's really hard to control. And we're in sixth gear already. We made it in 30 seconds just because we had to like I'm pretty sure if it was dry it would have been better but right now it's just peeling them wheels but this brings us to the end of this video I hope you guys really enjoyed it um, keep on watching the videos haven't been getting as much views um, I don't know why, but leave the, are either you guys not getting notifications, but leave them, leave the recommendations in the this comments below, just so I know you guys like to watch it, and tell me in the comments what other kind of videos you guys want to see, I'm thinking of recording myself trying to fix some parts in my car, but I just need to go buy some stuff and I don't have the money to go buy it. But leave it in the comments below if you guys want to see some of that working on my real car, not on Forza. So like, comment, and subscribe. And it's been your boy Monster. So until next time, peace.